All right, everybody. I don't know how clear this is here. It doesn't look that clear. Looks pretty clear up there, but we're going to give it a shot. I hope the audio works. It worked this morning. This document right here, midterm review, already available to you in the midterm review guide area. Section six, I believe, at Moodle. Section six at Moodle. Moodle, Moodle. And this document's the first document, this page is the first document. The rest is a collection of stuff from other areas already at Moodle too. So I'll let you go over this, but uh, we had a good assessment uh, this morning by a student. The midterm is a lot like experiment one for the, the for the practical part, practical, the stuff you're doing, okay? You'll be getting a solid unknown and a liquid unknown, just like experiment one. Yeah, and you have only a formula to work with, just like experiment one. And you're going to determine what you think is the best guess for the identity of your unknown. It's worth quite a few points. All right. So today we'll actually practice with a, a liquid, one of the liquids of the final or the midterm. Sorry, the midterm. We we'll call it molecule X today. And you'll practice doing a boiling point because you haven't done one of those in a couple of weeks. And refractive index, similar. You haven't done one in a while. Uh, you're going to do a CRC research page. I have a sample copy in this document coming up later. So we'll, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, technique points. Most important technique point is, are you here on time? And I assume you will be, especially after I say this. You may be strapped for time on the midterm. I will let you start at seven. I will be here at 7 a.m. ready for you. If you need the extra time, that's the time to be here. You will not be given time after 11.30. So seven. So that gives you a little extra time just in case. And being here by 7.40, which is the official class time, if you're not here by that time, you will lose five points on this midterm. Much like if you're late for class, you're losing technique points every week. Same story. All right. Now, next, the week after next week, which is the week after the main midterm, you have another section of the midterm that takes about an hour. It's called the midterm procedure section. Do not study for it for next week. I'll be sending an email while you're taking the midterm, or if I forget, somebody's going to kindly remind me, and it will redirect you to the midterm study guide area at Moodle section six, where there's actually a sample version of that section posted. Okay. Oh, I should be pointing here because this is the one on the video. There is a sample version of this already posted. Study for it after the midterm, after next week's midterm. The theory is more than half the midterm. We want students who both know how to do things and understand why they're doing them. That's why we put such a value on theory in a lab course. Uh, there'll be a reading a graph exercise, which I'm not going to tell you how to do. This is like a uh, general education outcomes review. Can you read a graph? We hope you can by this time of your college careers. It's a graph that's something you've looked at already, but I'm not going to say more than that. Routes law question. I'll put a star there because I don't have a review item for that. But we'll come, we'll, uh, we'll come back to that, I hope. Uh, distillation definitions, you, uh, we have a handout. 
that we did together. And I expect you to know everything on that handout. I will just remind you verbally the words you need to know. You need to know what's called a theoretical plate. You need to know what's a most volatile chemical and a least volatile chemical. You need to know how can you achieve more theoretical plates. In, one, in the experiment we did, we used a magnetic spinning vein. And you need to discuss, like we discussed in class, how that achieves more theoretical plates. On the same document that we did in class, we had tall columns pictured. And it was, we talked about surface area and theoretical plates. Le Chatelier's principle is going to come up during today's lecture on experiment eight. Pay careful attention. We need to know how to convert a refractive index to values at different temperatures. Remember, refractive index is inversely proportional to temperature by 0. 0.0004 for every degree Celsius deviation in temperature. There are notes in our main notes pages at Chem 243 for that. All the email questions, I'm not going to do any of them except for the experiment eight because you have videos for those already. You even have a video for the experiment eight email, but we will do another version of it today during review. We have a normal graph question. I know this is the one that students do the most poorly on of the exam until this year, because we have a sample question that is virtually identical to the question on the midterm. It's in this document that we're looking at today. And we will have to predict Aldol and Fisher esterification products. And we're going to have to compare experiments 8B and 20. Put another star there. So we'll come back to that. Uh, I think this was a good introduction to our review. We're going to stop this video segment and come back. And we're going to talk about experiment 8B, which is the Fisher esterification to make isoamyl acetate. That's where we're going to pick up. We're going to fill in these notes. And then we're going to fill in some more notes. We have a lot to talk about. So we're coming back with that.